Hey guys, what's up? Zach and I are here in Costa Rica and have been for three months for the crocs, snakes, surf, and all other animals. We're going to take you from your living room into the jungles of Costa Rica. Well, it's actually probably not going to be that dramatic, but hopefully you'll get to see some really cool animals with us without getting mosquito bitten. So, let's go. Here, in our search for snakes, we found one of the most interesting insects you'll find in the park. Leaf cutter ants. If you take a look closely at these little guys, you can see these leaves that they carry around in their pincers. Now, this would be like us. It's pretty windy. I don't know if you can tell, but this would be like carrying um, a sailboat sail in a hurricane. These guys are so strong. And there's actually a pretty complex little arrangement they have. They've got um, ants that carry the leaves. They've got soldier ants that protect the colony. And then they've got the ones that actually make the, the fungus that they grow to eat from the leaves. So it's a really cool little insect and one that you can see all over the place. Hey guys, check this out. This is a real treat. What we have here is a little bat hiding under this uh, palm leaf. And it's good news for us because there's a bunch of mosquitoes here. And from the looks of it, he's an insectivore. So hopefully there's a lot more from where this guy came from because this place is just crawling with mosquitoes. You might be wondering what I'm doing up here in the tree, but I'm actually taking a look at some of the most cutest little animals in the forest. I'm not talking about little baby fertile lances, but monkeys. These little guys are howler monkeys, and they're super common out here in the Caribbean and really all over Costa Rica. As a New World monkey, which means they live in the Americas instead of, um, you know, Africa, Asia, they have prehensile tails which help them to grip on the trees so they can really hold on and just, they can use all their hands to pick different leaves which they eat. Um, this species is mostly into eating leaves as opposed to fruit like bananas and stuff. So we'll just take a little bit longer to look at these guys and then we'll head on to see some more snakes, crocs, whatever else we can find. Cool. While you're in the jungle, you gotta keep your eyes out for pretty much all different types of animals because there's so much biodiversity. We've been looking for some snakes and like uh, monkeys and things like that and then you just have to pretty much look all around See, right up in that tree, there's a, what looks to be a three-toed sloth, just pretty much curled up up there because they, they really don't come down from the trees at all. They have such a slow metabolism that they don't need to move a whole lot, and the only time they do come down from the trees is when they need to use the bathroom, which is only about once a month, surprisingly. They don't come down just because uh, they're highly vulnerable to predators down here, um, where they can be easily seen. Um, so most of the time they're pretty much always up in the trees. So they're quite common throughout here. It's just as you can see they're hard to see because they're all camouflaged. These are capuchins and they're actually one of the smartest monkey species that there is. They just kind of stole someone's food over here and they're just kind of eating it. As you can see, they got these little hands, basically just like people's hands. And they'll just walk around and scavenge for different different foods and stuff. And as you can see, they've been pretty used to people because see how close they're getting. So we'll just leave these guys alone and head on to see some other cool animals. Whoa, check this out guys. Just taking some pictures of where I just found a little eyelash viper. Very common here throughout the Caribbean region of Costa Rica, and they're quite common throughout all of Central America. As you can see with all vipers, they have very large venom glands on the side of their cheeks, which can pack a potent amount, uh, a lethal dose for any small vertebrates which it might be hunting. Uh, it'll send a person to the hospital, even a full-grown adult, but it probably won't kill or hopefully not. Uh, as you can see with any arboreal species they have a nice little prehensile tail on the back because these guys spend a lot of time up in the treetops uh, probably 70 
plus percent of the time. When they come down here, it's mainly just that they can get a feed because the hunting's better and they can, you know, any small vertebrates from like small mice to uh, frogs, lizards, and stuff like that, they'll just uh, wait in an ambush position just like he is now and then just wham, just strike with those really large fangs um, that vipers have which fold back into their mouth when it's closed. Uh, these guys um, can come in many different colors from red, yellow, orange, um, and are just a very, very pretty species. With luck this good, hopefully we're bound to find some more other boy animals here in Coweta National Park. Check it out, bison. Check out this beautiful little snake. This is some type of vine snake, a little colubrid, which means it's rear fanged. And they'll use these big, large fangs. Whoa! Big, large fangs in the back. Check out that for aggression. You can see that's their prime defense. Open mouth, black, to show, you know, he's ready to bite. You gotta be super careful because look how small these guys are. Make sure you don't hurt them or anything like that. So these guys are primarily frog eaters. And they'll use their large fangs to penetrate and pop the frogs when they puff up real big. So we'll just let this guy go along his way. We'll look how, check out how fast he can zip along the trees. Hey guys, we started off on the beach and fish in the jungle. Along the way, we've seen some really cool animals, some sloths, and howler monkeys, and even some eyelash vipers. It's been really fun taking you guys throughout Coweta National Park. We hope you enjoy it. And as they say in Costa Rica, Pura Vida.